Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In the last few videos, we learned how to use built-in validations and display error messages on the screen. For the username, we have required validator and also the min length validator. But uh, sometimes usernames will be like uh, test or uh, test123, something like that. I don't want such type of usernames to be accepted. But how do we add validation that checks for these type of usernames? We have to create our own validations for this. So let's see how to do that. Let's go to the code. In the feedback component.ts, we have a class that represents the component. Outside this component, I will create a function. I'll name it as forbidden name validator. This can be any user defined name. I have chosen the name which was given in the Angular uh, uh, documentation. So you can give any user defined name. So this function is going to return a validator function which is available in Angular forms. So this function will return the validation error if this validation fails or it simply returns null if the validation is successful. So we have to define the validator function. So this validator function is going to accept a control which is of type abstract control. So if you go to UI and uh, go to inspect console, uh, click on submit, we are logging this form control, right? If you open this, we see abstract control. So this form control, is of uh, type abstract control here. So control abstract control and this is going to return us validation errors. If the validation is successful, it will simply return a null. Now let's write our validation logic here. We want to see if the control dot value contains the word test or not, because control dot value is the one that gives us the value entered in this input, right? So if I type test and click on submit, open the form control, this is where we find the value. So I want to see if that control dot value contains the text test or not. Uh, but I want to use a regular expression here. First, let's uh, create a variable that will store the true or false returned by our uh, checks. And here, using regular expression, we will test if the control dot value contains the word text or test or not. If this forbidden is uh, true, then will return the validation error, which is nothing but a key value pair. If you go to this validation errors, it's simply a key value pair. So let's write it, return. If forbidden is true, will return an object where the key is forbidden name and the value, I want to send the value also so that we know why the uh, error is true. Otherwise, we'll simply return null. This forbidden name is a user defined name. You can give any name like invalid name or anything, but I want to go with forbidden name uh, so that it matches with our uh, function name as well. So now we have the validator ready. We have to make use of this validator. So copy this uh, validator forbidden name validator function name. Go to the form feedback form where we have our username control. And we already have a list of validators here. These are built in validators. Now to this list, let's add our custom validator as well. So we'll call this function, which, which will return a validator function. And this validator function will accept this uh, form control and it will check if the uh, text has a value test or not. Now let's go to the UI and uh, try typing test and go out. We see the red border because this is invalid. If you look at the console as well, it, so it shows invalid. And if you look at this error object, we have the error that we have uh, just created with the key forbidden name and the value contains the value that we entered here. So even if it is test one, two, three and click on submit, uh, let me just clear this and click again. 
inside the form control it is invalid and the form uh, forbidden name value and the value is test 1 2 3 2 so here we have hard coded the value test but if i want to change the value in future or if i want to use this validator to multiple controls each having a different requirement i cannot use this method right because this is not generic so to make this generic you can pass a parameter here so i'll pass name which is a regular expression so uh, let's name name regex and now we can use we can use this name regex instead of this test and here we have to pass the pattern that we want to test for so i can say test now it will work uh, similarly so i have the red border here because it's invalid if i want to uh, check for admin not test so if i enter admin here then it will turn red because admin is invalid now uh, we have created this function inside the component.ts but if we want to use this validator function uh, forbidden name validator in multiple components we should make it available uh, in a shared location right so to do that i have already created a, a forbidden name directive inside a shared folder so inside app i have created a shared folder and created this directive uh, which has the similar code exactly the same code that we have seen inside the component i have imported the required uh, classes the only additional keyword here is export because here we have it inside the component so we accessed it directly but when we put it outside the component to make it available to all other components, we should export it from this uh, file, right? So that's what this export keyword is for. And if we want to use it, uh, let me just remove it from here. If we want to use this validator here, we have to import it. So let me just import. So this is where we are importing this uh, validator from. Let's save it, go back to UI and uh, press this i think it's admin yeah it's admin it is still behaving the same way so this way you can create custom validators and add it to your form controls i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you